because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast in Cardiff. And still, Gavin and Quinn, still. what a performance. Uh, just talk me through that finish. I told you I was going to do a demolition job, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I see. Um, I backed it up. Um, yeah, I knew I had that in me. Um, my hand was fully healed. I let it go tonight and see them uppercuts, how much damage them uppercuts and the Oaks are doing. I know I can do that to any lightweight in the world as well. So, yeah, I'm over the moon with that performance, but I knew I had it in me, yeah. I just want to get a stat up. I've just seen, actually. Have a look at this. Read that. Read it out for the viewers. Gavin Gruen, 52 punches landed in round four versus Craig Ruff. Woodruff's were the most landed in a round by any fight uh, thus far in 2023. Not bad, that. <laughs> Not bad, data. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, we've just heard as well, um, Matram have offered you a deal. Yeah. Um, so what's, you know, what's next in the career of Gavin Gwynn? Um, i just got to wait to see what yeah. they, they want me to do. Um, I'll never say no to any fight, but as long as it makes sense. Um, yeah, um, and that's all down to... Massive thank you to Leighton, who's, who's my manager, who's, who's sorted that out for me and got me in that position, really. I know I've, it's me as well doing the hard work, but he's wangling his way in and uh, getting me through the doors. So a special thank you goes to Leighton as well. And obviously my, my trainer, Tony Bog and uh, Billy Reynolds, Abs, uh, Phil Whaley, Roger, Richard, Chelsea. Big thank you to all of them, yeah. This, re this rematch deserved a big platform like this and big stage because um, yeah. of the first fight was, was so amazing. To put that performance on, on a massive card, world title undercard, um, must add a bit of uh, extra sort of specialness around it. Yeah, it did. Uh, that's why I jumped up on the ropes after I was pounding my chest. Um, the crowd was going nuts. That was something special and something that, that I'll probably tre treasure for the rest of my life. But I know I belong on these stages, on these big arena shows. Um, so I just I wish Joe all the best now in his in his world title fight and hopefully he brings it back to um, Cardiff and uh, we'll have big shows back in the summer. Yeah. Good to see the respect there. What was actually said um, after round one? I saw you having a couple of verbals with him after the first round. Do you remember? I, um, sorry for the language, but I said you fuck now. My right hand's working. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. And uh, yeah, but uh, shout out to Craig. Uh, he's a warrior as well. Yeah taking too many shots, he was taking too many shots and Anne said, I, I, I was smothering my work a bit, so I stood back, uh, I was making a miss and encountering him and he could see I was just picking my shots willy-nilly, um, it was the correct decision, yeah, because Craig, Craig's a tough old cookie, he'd stand there all day, like, so um, the ref done, done him a favour, yeah. Gavin, congratulations on a, a brilliant performance and still, as you and said. And I just want to dedicate this to my, um, my late grandfather as well, yeah. This win from a lit down yeah. Well, I'm sure he'll be immensely proud watching that. I'm sure he was. Um, God rest his soul. And uh, yeah, big fights on the horizon for Gavin Gwynn. Well done, 100%. mate. Thank you very much. Top Thank man. You. Legend. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.